Hey guys, Brian here. Welcome back to the shop. Today I'm going to try to fix something that's been a bit of an issue for me for a while that I'd like to do something about. And that's on this surface grinder. When I'm grinding something like this where it's up high or just a small piece, it's really hard to get the coolant where it needs to go. Uh, I've got this up as close to the wheel as I can get it. It's even ground off part of the nozzle. And it still doesn't do a very good job of covering the whole surface. So I'm gonna fire this up here and show you what it's like. You know, if you're grinding a big flat plate, it's not as big a deal because it, it'll just flood out over top of it. But this here, it's gotta get on top of the part before it can grind it. So, Cause it, it, it'll just hit the sides and won't get where it needs to be. So it's not much count. So I'm gonna try and improve that and I'll show you what I got to do that. But uh, let me fire this up. And, I'll show you what it's like now. It's pretty much how you have to run it right there. And as you can see, it's not getting over the wheel very good. You can really crank it up and make it flow everywhere want that because then it's a bunch of crap you gotta breathe. See there, the part coverage is not very good with that coolant.
It's like another. It's like three. There's one I'm left with. It's got an okay surface finish. It's nice and smooth. So, let me show you what I got to try and make this better. I'm going to make my life more better. I bought this from Cool Grind. It's got a nice little adjustable angled nozzle on the end of it on a hard pipe. So it can take all kinds of pressure and not leak. Not that this thing can probably make much pressure, but uh, hopefully this will be able to cover the entire width of the wheel and these little nozzles will be able to shoot it out there and direct it. So let me get this plumbed on here and we'll see how it does. Okay, so here's what I like to think is better. I've got uh, my comb style uh, small orifice nice pretty stainless nozzle on here that I can get enough pressure I can shoot up underneath of the wheel with and I've got it lined up I think pretty good where I'm actually hitting at the point of the wheel but I'm high enough up that the part will clear everything over underneath here and this is all hard line so it shouldn't vibrate down over time so now I've got this set up, let me fire this up and we'll grind one and see if it made a difference. So as you can see, I got a nice consistent stream the whole width of the wheel now.
know you're Hispanic. the wheel again.
pretty decent. It's not mirror, but it's smooth. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, grinder upgrade and getting to see this, these tappets good ground. I got to finish this job up and then get Bailey's approval on it. And then these will be ready to go with the customer. But uh, so far, I'm liking this. It seems to do a lot better job than the single nozzle deal I had. And I think it's improved the surface finish some too. I, I can't tell for sure, but just looking at them, they look like maybe they're a little bit better now. I guess because it's probably flushing more of the grinding debris away. So there's less of it carried back around, recutting, and get less scratches and stuff in your surface with the better flush. But uh, we'll see how that goes as time goes on. I'd like to get some different wheels for this grinder. I've only got the one for it. So I'm stuck with using what I got. Uh, these big wheels are not cheap. So I can't do a lot of experimenting as far as different hardness and grits and open and closed and all that kind of stuff. I, I've only got the one wheel, so that's where I'm stuck until I win the lottery and I can buy some more different ones. So thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll catch you later.